hurt really bad, Mom. I'm so sorry. Okay, see you soon. Emma hangs up as a female doctor arrives, looking grim. JT's grandma approaches. Has the family arrived? His aorta was pierced. I'm sorry. He's not going to make it. The kids pale with shock at the news. Liberty breaks down in tears. Mm. On the sad class of 07, we breathe. No! <laughs> I found out that JT was going to uh, um, sort of bite it <laughs> and get killed off um, way before we started shooting this particular season. You know what's crazy about house parties? Murdering people. And I, and I thought it was a really uh, important storyline to tell. I'm going to miss Ryan so much. He was in since day one of season one. Well, like, like I said, I was thinking about Ryan's first day on set working with him. Me, Cassie, Jake Wolfsby, and Ryan on set. And like, it was so much fun. We were so little, we have so many memories. Somebody in our key, key cast is leaving. Ryan's been there from the beginning. My voice is like, it's Degrassi. It's gonna be it's very, very difficult. Very. Like, I look forward, you know, to coming on set and, and being with Sarah and joking around. I look forward to every, like, every day that we get to have fun together. And I can't imagine what it's gonna be like without having Ryan's energy on set, so. Oh, darling. <laughs> Oh, darling. Oh, it's okay. We did an interview. They quoted a man quoted. named Brian Huey. <laughs> we were like, who is Brian Huey? So Brian Huey was Ryan Cooley, and for some reason, they got Brian Huey. So I've called him Brian Huey for <laughs> several years now. Ryan and I have had many a chill, and he will be missed. Ryan Cooley, who plays JT, is actually someone who I've worked with before. So it's a whole whack of emotions that comes to mind. You know. But it's sad, you know. Now you're making me sad. <laughs> but I am sad to be leaving the Degrassi crew. I mean, it's been... I'm sad to leave. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been six amazing years on the show, and, and now it's coming to an end, so that's, that's pretty sad. This is going to be a series wrap for Ryan Cooley as a real life person. We're just so gonna miss you, darling, and thank you for everything. Everybody here. <laughs> this has been uh, a life-changing experience. Um, being on the show, uh, six years is a long time, and I've made some won wonderful friends and work with some amazing, amazing people over the six years. I've never met such a wonderful, such a supportive group of people. And I thank you all, each and every one, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Somebody taking pictures on set that shouldn't be. Yeah. We seem to be at the uh, jail, and uh, we're shooting the scene where Sean finally gets out of jail. Look at him. I mean, the building is old. Like it's really no. it's eerie. This is the actual prisoner access door. And so far we've had like five paddy wagons go by and you hear people tapping on the cages inside. That gets a bit weird. Yeah. We've seen about four or five go in the last half hour filled. I feel so. kind of bad like standing here watching those like vans drive away with all these people inside that are like eh, going someplace not so fun. Being intimate with Miriam when she's playing Emma is easier now than it was years ago because we well, no, we, we're comfortable around one another. You know, when you act with someone or know someone for a long time, obviously you get more accustomed to them. How do I deal with Daniel? Stress balls. Punch him around a lot, smack him, lift him. Wow. Physical force. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yep. She beats me. Because you couldn't hear the dialogue, because the camera is too far away, 
We're right. going to reenact it right now. I'm out, which means we can be together, the girl who's perfect and the guy who doesn't deserve her. Oh, but I keep taking you back, so maybe I'm not so perfect after all. Oh, somehow your one and only flaw works in my favor. Oh. <laughs> God, I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. A lot. Yeah? Yeah. I also missed bacon double cheeseburgers. <laughs> the works. I see jail hasn't turned you vegetarian. Sorry. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Sometimes I wish I could stop time, go back. To braces, bad hair, and general pubescent awkwardness. <laughs> back to a time when you were proud of me. Sean, I am kind of proud of you. <laughs> Old jail. Old lots jail. Of lots of convicts. And a boyfriend. And, and a, a boyfriend. boyfriend. And that's special. Classic girl, team meeting. All right, we well, have to I'm tackle no, the camera. Ready? Yes. And go! This year was great. I had so much fun on set. I this just, season was awesome. I don't think I fully come to terms with the fact that it's over. The food was amazing. We'll tell the writers to write us in together. We never see each other until the last day, and it's too late. Look at Tabs, it's your grassy high. I'm gonna miss everybody, but at the same time, it's kind of refreshing to have that break because then when you come back, it's like it's like starting fresh, kind of. As much as it's fun to close out, I uh, just wish we didn't have to. And then I'll just get really depressed and eat a lot of ice cream and cry. I love my character finally had real gritty storylines, which was a huge step for me, so I enjoyed that a lot, a lot, a lot. This season was fun because I got to do something. <laughs> Whenever I'm on a show or something and it wraps, you don't really feel sad until you're driving home. It's always sad. Every year, the last day, it's kind of weird knowing that you won't be back here for a few months. This kind of becomes a second home after a while. I had an episode that I was particularly proud of. And uh, other than that, you know, I caught up on my sleep. time shooting season six i hope you enjoy it and i'm so excited to come back next year and do another one for you i love you we love you you're what makes the show possible and thanks for watching i hope you love the show to all the fans this year thank you so much for supporting us thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoy it that's why we deliver it to you and uh you know many more to come fans thank you for watching i think it's the second best season yet next to last season because I was in that one too. We'll be back soon. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Thanks, guys. Love ya. Mwah. Uh, can we get some mouthwash for Stacey Carver on set, please? Oh my god. That's creepy. Hello. <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> Today we have um, some kissing scenes, and I'm sort of nervous for that because I haven't really done that. Like the last time I kissed a guy on the show was Sean and even then like we never had to like make out or anything so this is our newspaper office if you want to see this I've spent a lot of time here and it's a really cool set background and action and that's the vicious series on sexual health on campus pass 
Next. Um, hang on, I, I've done research. Okay, we get it. Next. Hi, I'm Steve Belford, and I play Jesse on Degrassi. But Jesse, like, he's not a bad guy. I mean, he doesn't not care about people. He's just, he's about deadlines. I think Ellie likes that he's older because he's more mature. That was really fun, the audition process, to cast Jesse. If you look at the audition tape, um, he was the first guy that I kissed. Yeah, I have to admit, it wasn't all that bad. Not at all. So I sort of like turned and made a face to the camera after like, oh my god. Because he was definitely the cutest guy there. <laughs> Today, um, I have to actually like kiss, kiss. In the audition, it was just like a quick thing on the lips and it wasn't a big deal, but I have to go to work with Steve like for the next while and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Hey, just uh, getting ready to brush my teeth and floss, you know? See, that's so nice. I didn't even do any of that. I just, like, ate garlic, had some coffee. Terrific. You still have to use much. It's a long time, I think. How are those love scenes? They were good times. I had to remember my lines and I had to make it look realistic and kiss and move this way and make sure the light was here and there's so many things to think about that when I'm done I always get by myself and I'm just like, did I look stupid? <laughs> and then sometimes I do, but it's part of the job. <laughs> Frank, please give up for Lex to see. How was it? Honestly, the most terrifying experience of my life. The poor girl. So we found out that uh, they're getting evicted, and uh, Alice is going to do whatever she can to keep her and her mom together. Just keep this okay. room in me. I'll, I'll they had to turn the heat off because uh, we're upstairs right now, and um, you can hear this. You can hear the heater, I guess, when it's turned on. So it's freezing. I stay fully covered at uh, all times. I had a blast trying on all the little laundry outfits. I'm I'm a big girly girl. One hundred take two. You were lying, eh? I think I cleared a hundred already. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Favorite okay. line of the whole thing. That's it's nothing. nothing. Yeah. Girls, Girls on the other side. side. Girls on the other side. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm happy. I'm happy like a movie star. Like movie star. 50? So you wouldn't put a 50? cleared 100. Yeah. Why? You don't think it's not believable that somebody would give me a 50? A $50 tip? You are beautiful, but you're not that beautiful. Oh. Oh. This is the part where I quit my so job. Here, I'm not waiting for something. I think there's for every girl. It's all on illusion. It's their own personal choice and the reasons vary. Okay, so the Isaacs. James Tiberius Park. You can just set it on the counter. They also cheerlead for us in background, and um, they're part of our team as well, so we actually have cheerleaders. Our team uh, does Degrassi for the Spirit Squad. Pretty cool, pretty fun. <laughs> the hardest thing about doing a Spirit Squad routine would be having to be super perky all the time. And when the directors decide to throw Shanae up in the air. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie when I say 
I am the best cheerleader on the Degrassi squad. I mean, Jujube is okay, I guess. Didn't you see me? Obviously, I am the better cheerleader. Okay. It's hard between Shanae and Cassie. I, I don't know. I don't want either of them to get on my bad side. You know, they might attack me. Not, not good. I really, I really want to do it too. I'm so jealous of them. Looks like a lot of fun. Nina, who plays Mia, isn't on the squad anymore. She was too bad to be on it. We had to, we had to write her out of the squad. Um, Miriam, she was actually supposed to be a cheerleader with me in season two, but we had to write her out of that. She just couldn't do it. Something about her hands. What? Cassie, Cassie's deal is making up lies. I was never supposed to be on the spirit squad. What is this? What is this? I was supposed to be on the Spirit Squad, but I was better than everyone, so... <laughs> Cheerleader. I'm not, guys. Okay? I'm not. It's tough, but I love what I do. Please get Aubrey a sandwich with extra, extra sauce. Extra sauce. It's extra sauce. And I asked like three hours ago, and you don't bring it to me, and then you ask me if I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? I asked you already for the sandwiches and you ain't bring them. So bring me my sandwiches, man. You know what I'm saying? Extra sauce. Extra sauce, Steve. No, we have to talk about the passion that you are incapable of transferring to your beloved. You're going to speak to me on this mouth. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. And action. Are you going home? Because we still have I love this girl. She was my first, my last. My everything. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's getting dumped right now because uh, Jimmy's feeling a little inadequate in the uh, bedroom department. So, yeah. Unfortunately, she has to pay for Jimmy's insecurities. Yeah. We're on our way to block a scene right now. Um, it's me, Shane Kipple. Did I say Shane Kipple or Shane Nipples? You're gonna know I don't know my stuff. What do you want? Why don't you just say what you want? What's it like working with Aubrey? It's, um, it's very demeaning. Whoa. We're way too close. I know. Down to two but so far away. Look, I'm on my pants. I have these dirty marks all along the side because of the wheels. I'm not really supposed to be walking in my shoes, but I'm not supposed to be doing a lot of things that I'm doing right now. Sun from across the room. Thanks for watching. I got an album coming out this year. So, so please go pick that up and support good music and positive music. And uh, obviously, you know, enjoy the sixth season. We're here and we're doing it for nobody else but you and ourselves. Oh, that wasn't even. That wasn't even. I don't even know what that was. I was watching all these all the oh, on sets. I love them. Which ones are on so far? The Aubrey one. Hilarious. It was so funny. It's like the Aubrey Graham show. Yeah. We're shooting the big fire. This is Paige like sort of falling over the edge. She basically starts the fire herself, knowingly. Pretty much. Why? She's psycho. She is not psycho, she's stressed. She's the biggest dorm room in the history of dorm rooms. My pyromaniac in real life. 
Maybe a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Morning, sunshine. Hey. Oh, God. Hi, guys. This is how we look first thing in the morning. Peace. Fire. What does that mean? Yeah, I, I started firing in the episode. Bolin! Aubrey! Is you trying to steal my thunder? This is my moment. I need to yell at you for stealing my thunder. Oh, don't yell at me. And to get you in the video more. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's Aubrey, though. Aubrey's the man. He's got to take the thunder all the time. Why are you allowed to constantly be the Aubrey Graham show? That's what I want. Yeah, exactly. What the hell's his problem? I can barely stand next to this guy's head so big. Yeah, I'm Aubrey Graham. His hands like this. Oh, my head's not big. I'm very humble. Yeah. <laughs> Dolly over and then knock him off. Right. Wow. She's great. She's great. Very few actors command that that starring role, but Lauren, she um she takes the lead. <laughs> yeah, look at look at this great picture. Look at that, oh, man, look at that right boss. there. Who is right. that guy? Yo, look at that right there. Me? Mm. Don't go! No, don't go! Fight. Don't go! I bet you he's gonna show you the little afro baby picture. Look, put just me as a kid. We're not cool enough like Aubrey. Like we can't hold our own, you know, little shows and our own little aura around us. Only Aubrey Graham can do that. I might even leave a message. I'll let her call me back. That's how pimp do, son. Ha! <laughs> It's a hard job, this this acting thing, and every so often this hard job gives you some perks for all the hard work that you do, and one of these perks was to come down with ET Canada and publicize this uh, new resort, this five plus star resort over here, and you know what? I was happy to do it. Um, my name is Megan McQuinn. I'm a producer for Entertainment Tonight Canada. I've invited Shane along as my celebrity guest. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Shane's got his own private pool. This morning he got his own butler. Anything else I can help you with, just let me know. Absolutely. Okay, I'll be here for 6 o'clock. Check that those are from. Well, I'll do it later. I'm in paradise. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to be the one who's in control of my voice. Okay, I'm rolling. Okay. I'm up. I'm on the horse on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I've dubbed him Chocolate Death, but I'm not sure what his real name is. Attack! Chocolate <laughs> Death. Pass me my spear. I need to wreak some havoc over here with Chocolate Death. Pass me my spear. There's so much candy here, man. I need, like, something real, though. Can we have taquitos? No. What, do you think I want a big jumbo freezy? We are in heaven right now. Here, follow me. The Look at this. Room. We got some, any kind of, like, candies all over the place. We got chips here. Oh, no, chips are all here. Cookies, cereals. And then we got all, like, other hidden treats in the freezer, like pizza boxes. But we're not allowed in here. <laughs> well, we... Up there. Up there. Here it is, complete with traditional Michael Chuck family walnut stuffing. Okay, so we just finished filming the uh, the reaction to the turkey exploding. Scene. Although, although we haven't actually shot I'm, the turkey exploding. Who wants white and white you want star? No! <laughs> traditional Michael Chuck family. Walnut stuffing. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were saying that, like, they're like, if we pull really hard, it's probably going to end up all over your face and in your hair. So we're going for, like, medium strength. <laughs> pea soup. With, like, pieces of bread. Minestrone and bread, bread and so little It's going to look like vomit. Oh, not the vomit. 
Is this garbage can stay in here? Uh, no. We're oh, okay. The explode is about to happen. It'd be great. Pass me that apple. And action! New boyfriend. Okay, who wants white and who wants dark? White. Splat! and like dribbled all over itself instead of all over me. Who wants white? Who wants dark? Take some white. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the yeah. It was really disgusting. It was like just, it was like someone just puked just forward right onto it. It was gross and pukey. Kind of looks like I just helped my best friend through a bad Friday night. It's all of my shoes. Okay, who wants white and who wants dark? White. <laughs> I wanted to hit her in the face. That was a big splat, and it didn't get all over me, which is always nice. Okay, who wants white and who wants dark? Perfect, perfect splatter. Like, now I'd like to go shower. <laughs>